Hey guys, it's Fonzie with Dip Your Car, and I'm super excited about today's video because today we are customizing the look of my brand new Tesla Model S Plaid. I'm so excited about this car. It came black from the factory and it looks great, but there are some things on it that I wanna change, specifically blacking out all of the emblems and the wheels. I really think it's gonna look badass. Enjoy the video. So I'm gonna walk you through first each one of the items that we're gonna be working on today. So as far as the wheels, I've got the Arachnid wheels. These are the 21 inch and they come in a pretty cool metallic gray. However, I think they look a lot better in satin black. Now these specific wheels come with this lug nut center cap cover and it's already satin black. That's why I'm thinking shadow black hyper dip will be a perfect color for this wheel because it'll match this center cap cover perfectly. Now, if you have older Tesla wheels, the, the masking and the prep is going to be a lot easier than this. This one under the covers, it's got some areas where we needed a little bit of extra masking. Now, if you need a step-by-step -step guide on how to dip your wheels, i uh, got a link in the description box below for you guys right there. Now, as far as the rear emblems, you've got really two things to work on here. You've got the Tesla badge right here, and then you've got the plaid badge right here. Both very simple. We just mask the frame around the outside of both. We're gonna be spraying the entire section inside. And again, if you need a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to dip emblems, again, we've got a link in the description box below. Now, as far as the emblems are concerned, all of the trim on this car, the window trim, the door handles, these pieces of trim right here, they're all gloss black. So I'm thinking piano black hyperdip for the emblems so that the glossy black emblems will match the glossy black trim. Now let's jump right in.
All right, guys, we are all done with today's project. Now, the card did look good before, but now it just looks perfect. The piano black on the emblems makes the glossy black emblems now match all the glossy black trim, and there's no more chrome left on the car at all. And then those shadow black or satin black wheels now match the satin black center cap covers, which look 100 times better in my opinion. The whole car looks totally badass. Now, we do have full step-by-step -step guides on how to hyperdip your emblems and how to hyperdip your wheels. Links in the description box below. It'll take you through the entire process. We used a piano black emblem kit today and we used a shadow black wheel kit today. You can mix and match the hyperdip colors however you want. Just make sure when you're using hyperdip you follow all the instructions to make sure you get the end result that you're looking for. So let's go outside, check out the car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I may actually go out after this and try my first launch, see if we can catch some zero to 60 times. It's Fonzie. I'll see you guys on the next video. First ever launch in the Model S Plaid. I don't know exactly what to expect. The roads are a little damp. I don't know if it's gonna feel that different, but there's a lot of hype around this car. So I think anything under three seconds and I'll be big time impressed. Drag strip mode's already ready. All I have to do is jam on the brake, jam on the throttle. It's supposed to lower into cheetah stance. And then we go, lowering into cheetah stance. Preparing for launch. Ready to launch. Whoa! Okay, no, I wasn't. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't. I was not ready for that. Mm -mm. It's different. It's different. Zero to sixty in two point two six. Okay. Okay, I understand the hype. <clears throat> I was not prepared for that. Wow. <laughs> 